at 5.30 saying goodbye to one of the victims of the boat crash that also killed Marlin star Jose Fernandez. Family and friends of Eduardo Rivero are gathering tonight for his viewing. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live in Hialeah for us with more on that. Hank. Well, the uh, folks will start arriving here almost any moment set to st uh, start tonight at 6 o'clock. This is one of the three people aboard that boat that crashed into the uh, jetty on government cut. Family and friends will be here to remember Eddie Rivero. Let's take a look. Eduardo Rivero and Emilio Macias were lifelong buddies, like brothers, and their friend was Jose Fernandez. All three died early Sunday morning when Fernandez's 33-foot CV crashed into the North Jetty at the mouth of Government Cut. Today, friends and families who knew and loved Eddie Rivero are going to take time to visit, pay respects for the 24-year-old who loved to box and race go-karts. Over the past few days, family members lament the decision to take Fernandez's boat. They caught looking for that early morning run off of Miami Beach. I don't think that's the right time to even be out in the ocean. I don't, I don't know what was going through their head to go in the middle of the ocean at that time. Maybe the last picture taken of Jose Fernandez at American Social on the Miami River, 220 Sunday morning apparently just before departing on the fatal trip. I don't have a good feeling about it. It's too dark at night. Before the fatal crash, Bernal texted Eddie Rivero about his concerns. Bernal texted Eddie Rivero saying, try and keep it close to shore if you go out. Eddie Rivero responds, trust me, it's not my time yet. Bernal responds, I know, but try and keep Jose cool. Tell him what I said. Well, back live here, the family requested privacy, and we, of course, are honoring that. The funeral set for tomorrow. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back